Okay, tubers. This is uh, an upgrade to the uh, <coughs> the greenhouse. This is kind of what I was talking about as I was building the greenhouse. It's going to try and put two layers uh, with a air bury, you know, an air pocket between them. And uh, but I'm going to do it a little differently. That's the plastic. That's just regular four mil uh, plastic. Doesn't have to be anything special because it's going on the inside instead of the outside and what I plan to do is I plan to uh, basically I'm just going to stick it to uh, put it on the inside of the uh, PVC I'm going to have the PVC will be the space between it so it'll be about an inch anyway of air space between them won't be much but I'm sure it'll do a little bit for insulating and holding some of this heat in here uh, when it gets cold. I'll be able to run my heaters and hopefully it'll keep it a little cooler in here. But anyway, I've marked, I stole this idea from Lois Laney. I've marked with a marker where I'm drilling my pilot holes so that when I put the plastic up there, I can screw, uh, put a screw with a, a washer or just a screw. I don't know. I may just put a screw in it and hope hope it holds. Um, shouldn't be a whole lot of uh, strength required to hold the plastic up there, but I'm going to take that plastic that was out there and uh, bring it in here and start running it up over the top. I've got marks um, all the way around, and we'll see how she does. First thing I'm going to do is start drilling all the holes. So. Uh, show you what I come up with after we get it up. Hey y'all, I don't know if you can see that, it's, but it's about 34 degrees outside. It's cold. We had a frost last night. I'm going to show you the difference in the greenhouse. And I'll show you what I've done in here. Actually, I'm just going to... Um, sit that right on top of my uh, bug zapper here and we'll watch it after we're done we'll look and see what it looks like in here uh, but I got a couple watermelons growing um, there's my watermelon plant it's been a couple of freezes and there's there's another watermelon here and right there there's several um, cantaloupes that's my cantaloupe plant, and those of you who told me that that was a cantaloupe, I appreciate it. You actually just uh, confirmed what is uh, being produced out here. There you go. There's one. There's one right here. I think there's another one somewhere. Yeah, there's one right there. And... Uh, maybe another one yeah. anyway that's my cantaloupe she's still blooming Daniel's uh, pineapples are doing nicely out here tomatoes are now that's nothing like what Bobby's got going on in there but I'm pretty proud of them um, these are my cherry tomatoes and I got a red Rutgers. There's a Rutgers, a bunch of green ones on there. Some more cherry tomatoes down there. Quite a few on the plant. Um, she's producing well. Uh, here's a beef steak. And they're, they're getting kind of big. There's a nice cluster right there of about three of them. Anyway, they're they're doing pretty good this is a sucker that I planted she's growing I don't know what she really is I don't know what kind it looks like it might be a cherry uh, but I'm not sure we'll see and the grapevine is got lots of grapes on it I don't know if you can see those or not yeah pepper plants aren't doing so well though I mean they're couple of uh, little peppers on there some blooms I still have blooms down here but um, these cooler temperatures at night even in the greenhouse with it being 
insulated and heated or whatever I would call insulated it's uh, still getting pretty cold um, anyway uh, it's these are sweet potatoes that were growing in glass jars you can see that they're coming up facing producing the uh, slips I have purple kale and um, white moon kale and I've got those in the ground they're doing well this is Daniel's apple tree he actually has two of those all of this here is broccoli that's all broccoli I've got quite a few of them and they're small there's his other apple tree that is a um, I forgot what that was that was a bean sprout we just stuck in the ground bought it at the store stuck it in the ground that grown it's growing um, this is all spinach I have one two three rows of spinach um, the next one over is beets I have one two three four five rows of beets and uh, see them there they're doing pretty well and that is carrots those are done pretty good too but anyway I finished the um, second layer of um, plastic and it's actually keeping it really warm in here I'm not sure how it's affecting the uh, the sunlight that comes through it is a little darker in here but uh, the plants don't seem to be uh, hurting for it but looks like um, it does do the trick to hold the heat in I've, I've, I've insulated it all the way around I bought these little screws um, to use they got big heads on them like a washer and the screw head and I've used those drilled a little pilot hose in my PVC and it is holding up really nice but uh, we'll see how that all goes I brought the uh, bug zapper in here because there's some gnats and uh, crane flies I don't know if you can see them flying around over there but uh, some people in the south call them skeeter eaters but uh, that's actually a crane fly and uh, they're just a pest they kind of get on you and, and drive you crazy but there we go that's oh the main reason I showed you I wanted to show you what it's looks like it's about 76 degrees in here 76 78 anyway that's it y'all go play in the dirt even if it's cold Thanks, Bobby, for the inspiration, bro. God bless.